Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thanks so much for watching today. I am so excited my Lisa Eldridge box finally arrived. And today I am trying the Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint as well as her new formula of lip pencils. These are called the Sculpt and Shade Lip Pencils. I got the two lightest neutral shades in this formula. And what's interesting is last time I bought lip pencils from Lisa, they didn't come with a sharpener, but now they do. And uh, look, they're branded, that's so cute. So I wanna start by priming my face today. I am going to start by um, putting on some of the Elevated Glow. This is the shade Pink Moon. This is the lightest shade that Lisa makes. This is one of my favorite liquid products for glow. Um, and I, I really want my skin to look very skin-like today. So I'm, I'm not putting anything on it to fill pores. I wanna see how this actually sits on skin itself. So the one thing that they mentioned on the website is if you already know what shade you're wearing in this, they have a recommendation for you here. I wear shade number two in the foundation, so I got the shade T1. And these are kind of flexible shades, so people who, there won't be a corresponding perfect match from this to this. This is gonna probably cover four to five shades and then they're gonna to go to T2, which is gonna cover, you know, there's there's so many shades of foundation, but there's, I think, only 18 of these. The one thing you do wanna do is give it a shake. I'm so excited to try this. Okay, so I'm gonna put two drops on the back of my hand, and I wanna see where two drops gets me. And I'm just starting in the center of the face. I feel like putting it on the back of my hand was a Maybe a mistake because I'm, I put it on the back of my hand that I hold my mirror with. So I'm going to put a couple more drops on this palette here. One thing I noticed is two drops. Maybe I'm expecting this to do more coverage than it's meant to, um, but another two drops are going on the palette. Uh, but those two drops in the back of my hand went really quickly, and I've really only kind of done my nose area right in through here and some on my chin. I feel like if I were to use my brush that this product will probably get very quickly absorbed into a brush or a sponge and I know I could do that but I, I want as much you know pigment on my face as I can get but you know what's so cool about this is it doesn't really look like I'm wearing anything man I ended up using more than two drops the recommendation is to start with two drops and I feel like I wasn't quite getting the coverage that I needed, but once I added another two drops, I am surprised at how natural my skin looks. Um, now, you can still see some of the dark spots, but this is significantly diminished. A lot of the blotchiness that I have going over the tops of my cheeks significantly reduced. The redness that I have around my nose, mostly gone. I didn't really take it up very high here underneath the eye because I am planning on putting on a little bit of concealer. Nothing too heavy because I, I like this overall look, but you know what this looks like? This looks like my skin, but better because I'm looking at it and usually, usually if I'm putting on foundation, I can tell that I have foundation on. Foundation usually looks like there's product on my skin. I, I literally cannot tell that there's product on my skin. It it really looks like natural skin. This is so cool and strange. I'm like, I know there's product here, but where? But overall, I feel like there has been a complete kind of softening of redness of the dark spots, a kind of an evening of the tone all over, but it doesn't feel like makeup. It feels like skincare and it doesn't actually look at all, at all. I am sure that the minute I start putting on concealer, it's gonna look like makeup compared to this. This just looks like my skin, but better. I'm super impressed right now. Here's hoping it doesn't settle into my forehead lines as the day progresses, but man, so far, this is beautiful. This is what my face looks like with the smallest amount of concealer on. I put on a little bit of the Tower 28 today. This is kind of like my lightest, most serum-like concealer, um, and I can really thin it out to give almost a barely there look, but I feel like just taking out some of the darkness underneath my eyes has helped significantly. I did hit kind of like this spot here just a little bit more and a few other spots with a little bit of Lisa's pinpointing concealing sort of technique, but I did it with concealer 
as opposed to doing it with this um, skin tint because I feel like this enhancing tint, although it is lovely, if I had skin like both my kids, I could easily put this on and you, you wouldn't know that I had anything going on underneath. But I do have a little bit more hyperpigmentation, so a little bit of concealer is perfect. But right now, as I'm looking at this, I am, I am beyond impressed. I don't have like a line of demarcation here. This T1 shade is perfect for me. I need to set my under eye area and a few other places. I'm gonna get the rest of my face on and then we'll come back for that new lip liner. It's time for one of these new lip pencils. This formula is a little bit different than the other ones. This is the new Shade and Sculpt. This is the Enhance and Define. I feel like it's not just the packaging that's different. This, this type of cap here is one that I frequently see on gel type products that you need to keep airtight lest they degrade. I see these on Lisa's eyeliner pencils, but here, this is just a regular plastic cap. The other thing that I noticed is when I was buying these in the past, it was just the lip pencil. There is a sharpener that comes with each one of these new formulas of lip pencils here. So I got the two lightest neutral shades. Here is 0N, here is 1N. I feel like there is just a, a slight difference. I'm going to start with the 0N shade and I'm going to use this just to line my lips. This doesn't have that same kind of creamy it's a little bit lighter weight formula than Lisa's Enhance and Define lip pencil. This is also one of those that is a wooden pencil, whereas the previous packaging of the other lip liner is not wood. Um, I don't know, it feels kind of like that composite sort of, it, I don't know if it's plastic, I don't know what it is. I just finished getting this on my lips and I'm gonna smudge it just a little bit. I don't have it over every single surface of the lip, but I did overdraw the cupid's bow just a little bit and right here in the center of the bottom lip. I I like the way this feels. It doesn't feel as, um, as heavy as the Enhance and Define. And it feels strange to say that, but these definitely feel like there's a little bit more of that heavyweight gel feeling to them. Because when I do this with my lips with this pencil, I feel it on my lips more. Right now I really can't feel anything. I might cocktail a couple of lipsticks together, but I'm gonna start with Lisa's Meet Me in Berlin. This is one of my favorite and most used shades. This is beautiful, but I feel like I need just a little bit of um, pink. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the shade Painterly. I don't know if this is gonna be as rose as I want, but I want a little more warmth. I really like the way this lip pencil works. It's been more than a minute and I'm still able to smudge this pencil here on my lip. I don't usually like that in an eyeliner, but I do like that in a lip liner. I feel like this lip liner does allow me to kind of blend things in to give myself just a little bit of definition without being a little too much. The other liner that Lisa has, the Enhance and Define liner, is one of those that when you make a mark and it sets down, there is no smudging, there is no feathering. Like It's like a literal barrier. And I'm not saying this isn't gonna be a barrier. I feel like it is, but it's much creamier and it's lighter weight. This really feels like there's something around the edge of your lips. Like you've kind of got like a little wall going on. And not in a bad way, but like I feel like this is like my most trustworthy lip liner, the Enhance and Define. But I think this Sculpt one is gonna be really interesting. And I wanna take the darker one just a couple places here to see if I can, you know, kind of give myself just a little bit more the Cupid's bow. So taking this lip liner and just enhancing my Cupid's bow a little bit and then right here below the bottom lip, I feel like with a slightly darker color it gives me just enough more dimension without looking like I have a really heavy lip on. What I, th I think these are gonna be crucial. When I wanna wear a bold color, I'm probably gonna reach for the original formula. But when I'm wearing more of these um, luxuriously loosens or I'm wearing a lip oil or I'm wearing something that's a little bit more lightweight and sheer, I could certainly see myself reaching for these because they give more of that natural look while still giving you something to define your lip line with. And the older I get, the more volume I lose. I do want to cheat my lip line a little bit, but I find that when I do it with something that's a little bit more obvious, it looks like. This, this really goes well with this new enhancing skin tint because it really feels like 
just a little bit more than what you've got without being too much. I'm impressed with both of these, so, so impressed. A foundation, this is not, but if you like a, a little bit of correction and hardly anything, I think you would love this. This is $49. The new lip liners that come each with a sharpener are 28, and I feel like this is kind of leaning into Lisa's less editorial, more everyday type of makeup where she wants to look like a more perfected version of herself. And I like that. Honestly, on days that I'm not filming, I usually even have less makeup on than this. <laughs> I may not even wear any eye makeup, but you know, brows, concealer, a little bit of lip product that I can do this and tap on my cheeks for color. But I, I like the way that this looks less intentional than a full face. I mean, and, and I am wearing a full face, I'm wearing all the things, but I like how fresh it looks. It kind of reminds me of my teenagers. Like they wear very little makeup these days and they just look spectacular. This could definitely be your no makeup makeup look. You know, put all your skincare on, your sunscreen, and then a little bit of this and nobody would even clock it, like at all, at all. And I think if you do what I did today, which is to add a little bit of concealer, and I feel like I have to go looking for a slightly lighter weight concealer or use less than I'm used to using because I feel like this area here is so much more perfected than the rest of my face. And what's interesting is I do see some, a little bit of, you know, creasing in my under eye here, even though I did set my under eye concealer with powder, I didn't set anywhere else. I did like my forehead, my under eyes, and my nose, but I don't have anything going on like in the nasal labial fold. I have these small lines here at the corners of my mouth that are kind of going down. Normally I have product settling there. I don't have that. And the rest of my skin looks so skin-like. I am beyond amazed. So you could really dress this up like I did today or wear it on a day when you need a little bit of perfection but you don't want to look like you're wearing anything because I think this is like the most unclockable skin product that I've ever tried. Now these liners, okay. These are for the person who is not a bold lipstick person but does need a little bit of you know, okay, I need to perfect the edge of my lips. I feel like my lips, the older I get, they're not just losing volume. It used to be a very defined vermilion border. I'm losing that. And sometimes my lip line can look a little wavy. This is the perfect sort of product for that because it, it's just enough, but it doesn't actually look heavy and like dramatic or intentional. It just looks like slightly fuller, better lips. I, I love that. I love that. I'm really excited about this. Now, I know these are definitely more expensive products. You know, not everybody is going to want to pay $49, <laughs> 50 bucks for a skin tint, but you're getting the same amount of product in this product as you are in her foundation. They are both one ounce here. If you're one of those people who is looking for your lip product to stay within the boundaries of your lips, these are supposed to help with feathering and with you know products slipping outside, I'm gonna have to leave you wear notes on how things work. I'm gonna know, is this gonna be like my new go-to for every day? <laughs> on days when I don't wanna look like I'm wearing foundation, but I, I need just a little bit, I will leave wear notes for you in the description bar. So go ahead and expand that description bar. I'll have an asterisk in there, and then I will tell you how things wore. Um, and then in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna come back and I'll do a full-on review, because this is just how it wore today. And one day of wear is not, how does it wear long term? A lot of times things start out like, no, I don't like it. And then I fall in love or vice versa where it's amazing. And three weeks later, mm, I don't know. So always wait for that second full on review. I love doing that. They're called makeup updates. I have a whole playlist of those, but I will come back and let you know how these things wear. But right now I am super impressed. This right here, surprise me, surprise me, surprise me. And I feel like I have to go through, there's a cat. I feel like I have to go through my um, concealer collection and find something that is just as equally lightweight and will actually give me the coverage that I need and will look still like skin. And I'm not saying this is a bad, I've always loved this concealer, but it's not doing what this is doing. And maybe what I need to do is wait until Lisa comes out with a concealer because I bet you hers will. All right, there we go. Let me know, did you pick this up? Are you excited about these sorts of products? Um, are you more of a foundation person? Or are you more of a skin tint person? When you're wearing lip products, are you more of a barely there and slightly perfected? Or are you the sort of person who wants like color and like 
va va boom look at my lips let me know oh other thing i forgot to mention how cute is this look a new lisa eldridge and this is a little denim bag this is so cute i have a huge collection of her cosmetic bags and they're so elegantly done i love them the detail is just perfection so there's that but let me know what do you have from Lisa's brand? What do you like the most? What are your go-tos or are there things that have disappointed you? I would be very curious. I'm gonna list everything I'm wearing in the description box down below. Don't forget that there are affiliate links. You can use them or not, that's up to you. But if you do use them, it does help to support my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. Oh, one more thing. I have an entire Lisa Eldridge playlist, swatches of lipsticks, trying on new products. Um, they're from many years ago and some are more recent, but I'll have that entire playlist in the description box as well. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you again soon.